Okay, YouTube, I am going to say this as respectfully as I possibly can, as if you haven't already heard this a million times by now. But we are going to keep telling you this until it finally sticks through your thick skulls. Your copyright system is completely fucked up and you need to fix this shit. Okay, guys, so today we have a copyright claim from someone called 1RPM on behalf of Elegant Elephant. Right here, this video. This is from my Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Remix LP when Sora and Riku fight Zimnus. Anyway, for some reason, when the part where Zimnus comes out and says that I will not allow it to end this way, for some reason, that's, that song is actually copyrighted. That is a copyrighted song. So I did a little searching here. Let's search in this, what is it? Nihil in our... Uh, Nihil in three are go. Let's search that, shall we? If we search that, we will find this right here. This song is nothing but battle quotes from the characters in Kingdom Hearts. So it recognizes the battle quotes in my video, and it puts a copyright claim on it, and now they get all of the revenue from this from this one hour video for 30 seconds of talking. YouTube, what the fuck? What the holy fuck? How the hell are you allowing something like this to happen to your partners? Do you not see how fucked up this is? Let's take a look at this shit, shall we? You feel. That's enough. This is not a song. Are you listening, YouTube? This is not a song. This is a scam. This song was created for the sole purpose of copywriting other people's videos that have the voice actor audio in it so they can get all of the revenue. This is a scam, and this is exactly how they pay their bills. You cannot take audio from a game, add your own background music to it, and call it your own song, and then put copyright claims on it. You can't fucking do that. That is a scam that is illegal. Okay, YouTube, so you need more proof of how fucked up your copyright system really is? Let's do a little more research. Okay, uh, whoever is responsible for this is, uh, let me see. N3 Argo was originally a glitch dust, uh, a glitch dubstep, blah, 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 more. Blah, 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 went on his end to it, but has thus returned to blah, 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 Facebook. I'm going, yeah, I I like to do research on these copyright claims because I have fucking helped this shit. Feeds for this album. Okay, so apparently this is the album right here. This is the album. From Dr. Seuss, uh, Suicide by what the f I don't know. Um, from Dr. Suicide, released June 6, 1939. Released June 6, 1939. Uh, Nick, uh, Nick Dropkick, Kingdom Hearts 2, Zimnis, Riku, Sora. How the fuck was this released in 1939? Rose from the uh, yeah. How in the holy fuck? Maybe I'm just completely missing something, but can somebody please explain to me how the fuck did this song come out in 1939? I could have swore, I could have swore Zimnis said that somewhere in the year of 2002, or uh, I forgot, let me see. Let's see here, Kingdom Hearts 2, Square Enix, um, back of the box. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, 2000 and 2003, yeah, see, 2001, 2003, 2005, yeah, I could have swore that Zimnus and Riku said those lines in the year of 2000, so, how the fuck did this come out in 1939, can, can somebody please explain it to me? Did Xehanort use his time traveling powers to manipulate the release date of this song? Can somebody please tell me what, what the fuck's going on here? 
And to the person who is responsible for this copyright claim, if you happen to be watching this video, heed my warning, you are fucking with the wrong crowd. Now, according to this video, and I will indeed put a link to the video in the description. According to this video, YouTube is finally doing something about their copyright claims. But this is not the solution. The solution is not to put a hold on the revenue and then return it to the rightful owner when the copyright claim is um, resolved. That is not the solution. The solution is not for you to put a band-aid on it. That is a temporary fix. The solution is for you to completely fix this shit and return it to how it was before it got completely fucked up. That is the solution. I am a small YouTuber. I do not have a big enough channel to get my voice heard. I need you to spread this to as many people as you possibly can because the only way that we are going to stop this shit is for all of the popular big YouTubers to say something about it. Bad things happen when good men do nothing. Unless we all come together and stand up against this shit and finally reach out to YouTube, it's never going to change. It's going to keep happening, and it's going to get worser and worser and worser. Please, spread this video. Spread it to everybody you know. I have fucking had it with this shit. Wake the fuck up, YouTube. Wake the fuck 